Hi everyone. So here I am again, and I hope you you guys enjoy my my content. Some of you are, some of you not. Please let me know how how bad or if I got any better. You know, it'd be nice to hear something from you guys. I'm just a normal guy here, trying to do something nice for the world, pretty much for you, for myself, for my family, for your family, however I can. So I'm trying to improve anyway. So today I. I would like to say something that has been on my mind for for quite a while now and this was pretty much the the very first day when i decided to open up to my family to my girlfriend that i had an extremely an extreme cocaine addiction problem together with cannabis and alcohol and everything and um it took me long long time to to understand my own issues with that i used to sit at home at night after i came from work and i used to have plates of drugs under the sofa and i was concerned of course about myself very much not only because of myself but what was i doing towards my family my kids no so i used to google i remember googling am i what what are the symptoms of being a drug addict and i used to start reading and i i just close because it was exactly what I was going through and uh, it came to a point that I I couldn't accept that I, I thought I never I, we never need to go into therapy this is crazy I'm you know I'm what what the fuck I'm, I'm not gonna need that but it got to the point that I got very scared I was worried about my sanity and everything so on the 23rd of January 2023 I decided to open up to my girlfriend about my extreme addiction and but before i open up already three months prior to that i was already seeing a shrink and my shrink was like leo unfortunately i'm not going to be able to help you because i'm not a drug a drug therapist and you need to open up to your family you need you need professional help and i could not accept that that would be oh like, like no i'm going to lose my family i'm going to lose my life entirely anyway Three months later, I could not resist anymore. I had to tell the truth. I was living a very depressed life. And I, my, my girlfriend just started asking me why was I behaving so strange? Like during my mornings, routines, my work, my communication, my disposition and my interest for life. I had no interest in booking a holiday together. Where the before I was obsessed with that. And uh, so she started noticing, of course, and um, it got to the point as well that was the worst moment when I started really changing my behavior. I became extremely jealous and possessive of my girlfriend. I, I, I was losing control completely over my, my mind, of my thoughts. I became angry. I was suspicious, suspicious about her whereabouts. And pretty much any time she was out of the house, I was going crazy just because of my my mind was telling me things that was never there this completely this paranoia and then i started having panic attacks in the garden i used to run into the garden as well feeling that i was gonna pass out but it was just this 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 heartbeat going crazy and this paranoia in my head and suspicious about my girlfriend when she was not at home i was going crazy about it and when she was there i was sneaking behind her and checking her phone, her social media, her email accounts. And I can tell you safely, we've been together. We were together for 24 years. I have two beautiful kids. I've never found anything. And from the moment I quit drugs, this paranoia has gone. I trust that was, it was completely one, a byproduct of my cocaine addiction together with the cannabis, the excessive drinking, the lack of sleep, so it was extremely, extremely hard time. And that was a reason that also I needed to open up. I couldn't treat my family like this anymore. And like I said, I was becoming so depressed to the point that I thought that it would be just nicer if I didn't wake up the next day. And that was the point that I completely lost control of my mind and I was losing control of my actions. And I did not want to live a life like this anymore. Pretty much I was living a double life for so many months, for so many years, maybe you can say as well. And I was falling into this depression, this, this depression and this feeling of tired. I was so tired of 
my life was just everything becoming too much. So when I told her about my addiction, she didn't quite understand. She understood, she, she knew that I used sometimes, but she didn't really believe that I was so hooked in it, that I was doing three grams of coke a day. And pretty much there are so many people now that I'm opening up now with my channel, but a lot of people never heard that in my family back in Brazil, but I'm not scared, I'm not afraid anymore, I'm better. And everyone needs to know the truth. You need to be able to tell the truth to yourself. So she thought it was okay, we can manage somehow. The next morning we were still lying in bed. She brought up the conversation again and then got it a bit sour. And then we decided just to go for a walk. The kids were in school already. She already took them to school and came back home. We decided to go for a walk, took our dog for a walk. And then things went really, really bad from that moment. And then I knew from that moment that I had to, that I, I have lost. I've lost my family, my house, my self-respect pretty much. And then was the moment when I left the house. She kindly asked me to leave my house. I, from that day, I gave myself into my second person of my double life. My first person was this loving father, this boyfriend, the son-in-law, the son, the father, you know, of course, and this friend from the neighbors. And the second person was this drug addict, really spending all the money, lying, self-destruction, paranoia, um, um, panic attacks, lack of interest for life. So I became the second person as soon as I left my house. And I, didn't, I, I never went back to work because I was consuming so much drugs at work as well. So from that day on, I went to look for some help in a help drug center. She couldn't help me straight away. So I had to stay in friend's house, in her sister's house. Then I had to stay in hotels in between my detox and, and therapy. So I extremely damaged myself do, during those two, three weeks. And it was completely a fall, a fall in my life. I've never, I've never expected myself to be in such a situation ever. But I went crashing down. Things got really bad. I left the house. I went to the drug center. I started a process that I wanted to get better because I wanted to get back to my normal life. I knew that I could. I, I'm a better person than that. And then I wanted to change my life for better. So the, my point is, if you find yourself in such a situation now, or if you have this fear, just don't give up. Open up yourself. Open up. Tell the truth to your family. Tell the truth to your spouse. Tell the truth to your husband, to your wife, to your mother, to one of your closest friends. Because that is the moment that you change your life for better. And of course, I regret, in a way, my drug abuse, my lies, but I don't regret and I don't hate my family or anyone. I thank them for kicking me out and giving me this chance of getting better. Because if I was still staying there, if I didn't open up, I would be suffering much more. I would be making my girlfriend, my kids suffer, my mother. So the truth is it's out there and it will be painful and pretty much is a, is a lonely, path for a while and um, there will sometimes you feel like there's no light at the end of the tunnel but when you see that light it will shine so bright that you are, you appreciate what you've been going through you appreciate in a way that you will develop yourself you learn so much about yourself you appreciate life you love your family like you've never loved before like they are not there forever they are not you're not taking anything in your life for granted and this is an amazing feeling. The recovery feeling, it's euphoric, I know, but if you keep your discipline, now after over a year of therapies and everything, I'm rebuilding my trust with my family, with my kids, and I became a different person. And I love so much my life that I cannot understand why was I consuming to escape from what? I'm, of course, I know a little bit of my past history, of my story since Brazil and my addictions, but really, if you're going through that, come out, tell the truth. Your life will be so much more worth living. You wake up every day thinking, what can you do to make every day an amazing day for you and for your family? 
It's worth every single bit to get better, to get out of drugs. Drugs has only fucked my life so much. And now at the moment is one of the best moments in my life, even though I'm not together with my family, even though I miss my kids every single day. But this incredible feeling of having them there and getting their respect for really for the person I am and having control of my own mind, and being healthy and fit and looking forward to, 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 to have an amazing life with my kids in the future. And now as it is, this is, this is priceless feeling. So if you're going through any of these issues, come out, be, have, have, this, have the courage because your life will change so much. Of course it will change. You'll be such an amazing person to yourself. You're like, why? Life, it's such a great place to be. So I know it's hard. I know it's, it's easy. It's easy to say, but I've been there and I'm going through that still. And I have so many, many more other stories and I would like to share. And I'm sorry if that was so long, you're probably not going to watch the video until at the end anyway. But I would like to share more of my themas and I would like to help you through that. Get in touch. I know I'm not that good yet, but I'm there for you guys.